Hey guys, it's Buddy Seven Two Hand. Welcome back to Skyrim. Today we are gonna climb the seven thousand stairs, I think it is. And as we turn around here, we can see we've got a lovely helper, Lydia here. So let's begin by climbing up these lovely stairs. So today my plan is to see the lovely greybeards and see a dead fox apparently. I can I can hear a wolf. Go away. So today I am planning to go and see the lovely grey beards and then I believe we do a couple tasks with them where we lovely where we shout in their faces or something like that there. I can't exactly remember. So we will have to see once we get up there. We've got a lovely couple roots here. And the stairs are pretty rough. Carrying all these brick slabs or stone slabs up from the little village down there of Ivanstead. So let's go up here. And I'll see you guys at the top or if I come across anyone. So let's speed up this footage here and add in some of that lovely Skyrim sort of music there. Nope, oh, I've already come across someone. Okay, we'll do that very shortly. Hello. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. What are you doing? I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Do you visit the Greybeards? They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials. But not to make conversation. Did you hear the Greybeards call... Do Vaki. <laughs> That's how you say it. I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus, if that's how you say it. The dragon precise persist presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. Okay. Okay, let's speed up this now. Let's go! That was pathetic. Okay, let's have another attempt at that there since I'm... I'm just horrible at killing these monsters like... I've seen videos, how do people just kill them straight away? I don't get it. These lovely trolls. So let's have another go. Let's just climb up. Can I... Come on. Can I jump up? I don't know. I can't get why I can't jump yet. Because X on this here should make me jump. Or is there something in the controls that I'm doing something wrong? Should we jump? Okay, folks, let's have a 50 temp doing this. I did cut it all out because I've stuffed up the controls on my thing, so it's not working correctly. I don't see how people destroy these things so easily because I always seem to die. Let's look at that. I'm pretty much dead straight away. Hey, how, how are you supposed to stop them from... Like, how, how... I don't get it! I just... I'm just horrible at this game! And so look, now I'm... Now so look, for some reason I can't put my normal sleep... It's all changed. And I don't know how to, how to, um... Because I, like, everything since everything's changed, I'm struggling to play the game now. Since I changed everything, but how are you supposed to get past these guys? There's got to be, there's got to be an easier way. Oh, come on. I'm just going to just drink everything, okay? That, that's the only way how I know how to do this game. Is drink a crap load of potions and pretty much die straight away. I don't, I don't know what I've done. 
you normally might normally press so certain buttons to change things. No, it doesn't work like that, mate. Okay, I'm just going to cut it out and just want to get past this little troll thing here. Okay, so the controls are fixed again, and hopefully, I'm just going to try and walk past this troll. So there's got to be a way to get past it because I don't, I don't yeah. I'm just a noob at trolls. Like, they're, just, they're the only thing that really just constantly kill me in this game. I can't figure out how to get, like, how to stop them from killing me. I really need to watch more videos and see how everyone else plays this game nice and professionally. See, we've got, we got him past a troll. It's probably going to try and kill me anyway. But anyway, let's try and head up to the lovely Greybeard's. Greybeard's mansion or palace. So let's cue that lovely music again and let's just speed this up because yeah, probably just lots of snow and lots of people meditating. So let's get into it again. In the distance here we can see the lovely castle of the Greybeards coming up. Or palace. Not sure what you'd call it anyway. But first off, let's drop off that delivery for that guy who somehow manages to get past that troll every single time. He must have a special path or something. See, I don't know why I've got three... Oh no, it's this mark here. Let's put in Colin... Oh yes, my name is in it. So is it underneath Misk or something? Or maybe it's... Let's go underneath the whole body. And let's find what we have got. Let's... How do I store... Oops, you can knock, knock a quick side. No, you can favor this item. I don't want to favor that item, I want to store it. So let's try this one here. There we go. It's a square, not a X. Anything else I can give to them here? Any other junk I really don't want? Come on, where is it? Should be around here somewhere. Put that there now we there we go complete that quest any other bits and pieces you guys want that you guys probably that I don't need come on there's got to be some other junk nope okay let's go up and let's see this lovely grey beards have to be long grey beards oh jeez hello so Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. I'm answering your summons, man. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Oof! Dragonborn, it is you. You. Welcome to High Hrothgar. High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Thank you. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? Who are you? What is this place? I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. I'm answering your summons, Master. <laughs> Who are you? What is this place? We are the Greybeards. Followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, the slopes of Tinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. Do you mean I'm not the only Dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragon Blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. 
I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Of course I do. Well, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thune. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words up. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. Come on, let me absorb this. Okay, that's good. We now absorb that there. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Thank you. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. Thank you. As part of your initiation, Master Einard will allow you to tap into his understanding of Ro. Ro. Thank you. I've just absorbed the part of your man. That's nice. Magics and let's go shouts. For unrelenting force shout to strike the target as they appear. Yep, thank you. Okay. Again. That's pretty basic, really. Anything else? Come on. What does it, what does the magic even say? I wasn't even reading it. Your voice is raw power, pushing aside anything or anyone who stands in your path. Recharge 15. So it's obviously depends how high you, how how long you press the button or something. Just hold it in for a longer time this time. I don't see how it changes over really. Your thumb is precise. Thank you. Show great promise, what I'll do is press a button and that's good that it works. <laughs> we will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Boy. Come on, Boris. Come on, Boris, quickly. This place has to be so cold, we've got no fire or anything in the middle of snow. Stony building. Jeez, I must have bones of steel. But yeah, steel is cold, so yeah, obviously the dragon force must keep them all nice and warm all the way up here. On the throat of the world, if that's what you call this place. Why do you walk so slow? You should walk quicker. Come on, walk like me, walk like me, I walk quick. Come on, quick, I'm gonna learn. When I learn, you will now see how you learn a completely new shout. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Wood. Wood. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thing. Master 
Thank you for letting me absorb. A flute, ice rice, teeth, snowberries, and telos. Thank you. Let's demonstrate this here by shout and let's whirlwind. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. Wolf! Now, your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Okay. Come on. Perfect. First time. That's good. Yep, let's talk to you Your now. Quick mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. Thank you. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. I don't know how I do it. It just happens. Well, I know how it happens. That's Prince Buttons, mate. All well, my characters does it. He's pretty good. I thought you guys were Dragonborn. I thought the grey birds were dragonborn but obviously not I obviously don't know I thought it was easy for everyone else thank you what's next you are now ready for your last trial oh let's let this Retrieve make me good the horn of Jorgen Windcaller our founder from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrad remain true to the way of the voice you will return <laughs> Why are dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt. The appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Thank you. Thank you, Master. I will continue. I will continue my training. Surely there's more you can tell there me. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to run. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you okay. with the arrogance of power. Why are shouts that in the dragon language? Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even... But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. There are only four of you? Five. Our leader, Partanax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Why can when can I be path? No. As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. Who was Jagger Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for that. He was the first to under Jurgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition. Thank you. Now let's start this lovely next quest. Return, find the source. Where is it? The horn. Let's let's start this horn quest. That is probably going to end it off for today. Let's go onto the map and let's see where it is. And then we can find out. All the way up here. Uh, uh, okay, so let's try and fast travel to Morthal. Morthal, if that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. Let's go to the White Run Stables and see if we can purchase ourselves a lovely ticket, ticket there super quick. I'm not really too interested in walking that huge distance. Hello. Where do you want to go? 
I want to go to Motal 50 go. Okay, thank you. Let's hop in the carriage. Countries full of them down south. Remember is a daybr Okay, it wasn't quick enough to read. Anyway, I want to go uh, this way. Let's go. Watch it, watch it, kid. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go to this through this little town. Hello, guard. Have summoned the dragonborn to high yep, don't care. Let's run, run, run as fast as we can because I'm not gonna run out of time if I. It's not too far. Now, what are, what are you supposed to talk about when you're walking along these things? I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. I find it easier to do Minecraft because you can just clip out bits in this here. It seems a bit weird clipping out bits. But I suppose I could just stop talking and you guys could enjoy the lovely sound of Skyrim music in the background as I walk. to this tomb and I'll cut that bit out just there if you could hear me doing the cross time. Let's go through, is that a, norm, a neem root or norm root there because it looks like it was glowing? No, it's just a stick in the mud. Let's go to this little temple. I love that little spooky sound that this plays as soon as you come into here. What? I don't even see you guys here. Go away. I don't want to deal with you bandits. Go away. Oh, this is not fear. I don't even see you bandits here. Now you're going to kill me. It's not fear. Kill you, little bastard. If I meant to say that, probably not meant to. Oh, it's the lead down there, okay. Let's search you. Let's eat that there. Let's take that gold. Let's take that healer. Let's eat that. Let's eat that. And let's pretty much eat everything just so we know. Oh, ash pile. Let's take that. Let's take that. We always need more of those. Let's search you. Let's take that. Let's take that there as well. Oops. What, what did you say? I can't equip that. Okay, anyway, let's get... Oh, it's a chest here. Any gold? Yep, I'll take that gold. I'll take this bandit if he's got anything in there. An axe? Nope. A skooma? Don't know what that does, but let's just take that anyway. Anything else I can use? Come on, there's got to be some other good stuff around here. Because I can always take food, because food is always good. Source of energy. Level 3, let's go start and let's do another save on number 50, just in case you die. And let's take this stuff here. Because you can always, you can. I find you can never have enough lockpicks in this game. Um, don't know what you guys are doing down here. But it does not look good so let's just try and kill you guys off your novice things don't know what you're exactly doing but let's try and kill you bad guys off because I'm assuming you're bad anyway because it says a novice necromance if that's how you say it, as I always go along. We've clearly Strong killed off this guy here. Slope. Oh, he's a bandit. So no, Feel free to grab a pick and help. Got you. Got you, and... Ah! Ow, it's, it's hot. Thank you. Lydia, oh Lydia. Novice, let's eat that there, because let's take that. Oh, jeez. What 
was that? Pretty sure I just zapped myself when I, put, when I picked that up. Let's take those things there. Gold, gold, and who, who never steals anything in this game? Everyone goes to, oh, let's eat a bee. That is good. Anything else I can take from out of you guys here? Let's take that there, and iron arrows. I'd like to prefer to have gold arrows myself. Let's take that there, and where am I even going? I'm not even sure. Okay, so there's a... So... I'm, I've completely lost where I'm meant to be going off through here. Okay. A little hidden passageway through there. Let's run down here. Oh, we've got some more dead people. Oh, I was picked up a heart. Watch out, Lydia. Come on, Lydia, you can do that. Let's have some magic mushrooms. Oh, watch out, Lydia. There we go, perfect. I'll kill you. Okay, let's take the bone meal. Anything else I can take out of you guys? While raiding your body, let's take potions of health. Because we always need those there. And let's go through this way, I'm assuming. Anything else? Lots of arrows, which doesn't seem like a good sign. Got a chamber pot there, got another tunnel going down there. Great, I've just woken up some of those little dead people. Dragers. What was that? That's not worth much. Hello. Ow. Ow, that hurts quite a bit. Anything else? Any gold? Thank you. Ow, 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 ow. Fire against ice. Come on. Oh, don't hit Lydia. I don't, want, I don't want to kill Lydia. Lydia is the most useful person out there. Okay, anything else? It's through there, okay. So, you up round stairs. There we go, up round stairs and going along the top by the looks of it. What's that? Another chest. Oh, that, that'll be useful. And so, with that there. How much inventory space do you have in this game anyway? Got plenty of stuff that I can fit in. Okay, let's run along here and go through a lovely another door down here. Oh, and someone leaves some 34 gold on the ground. That's perfect. Okay, let's go. Search. Let's take those there. Let's eat that bone meal because I can't remember what it does. Damages stamina by the looks of it. Or how? Ow! Ow! Why don't I take any burn damage from that? That's weird. Oh, hello. Burn, baby, burn! I don't, know, don't understand what you just said there, but I want your gold. So let's go down into here, and where's your little friend? Is he hiding? How did you get up there? You were just down here with me before. Okay, let's just continue walking through. Oh no, you're up here. Oops, that was running still. Draining all my stamina. Oops, no, that's not good. Let's burn you before you kill me. Come on, give me some gold. Thank you. Let's take it there. My bad, use it for something. 
And I suppose it was time to eat some bits of bread. Eat a couple bits of cabbage as well. That doesn't do much to our health anyway. So let's run through here. Is there another chamber around here? Nope, it's just collapsed rocks. Go through these lovely tombs. We have got liquid on the ground, which is going to burn us. We've got a door, which I'm pretty sure it wants me to go through. Well, I don't think it wants me to go through it, since it only opens that side there. Oh! Shoot, okay, hello. Have you got anything for me? Thank you, and this here must open the door. Oh, what are you doing? Hello. Why are you running away for? Hey! That, that seems a bit weird. The artificial intelligence might be a little bit off or something. Okay, did that open up this door here? Beautiful. Let's see, there's one of these pretty soul gems. True shot, I've got one of these. Oops. And enchant a thing. So let's dish enchant some of the stuff here. Creates potions. Let's learn from that there. Okay, this here is 75. Let's get rid of that there as well. And let's open up this here and open up ourselves a lovely chest. Oops, let's get beautiful. You can never you can never have enough potions in that there. So that was disenchanting some of our books. Okay, let's continue going through and that will give us a little bit less weight in our pack. Oop, another dead body over here. Let's raid you for that lovely gold. And let's continue through to see if we can find any more of your buddies. A troll skull. Yep, don't want that. Because as soon as I pick it up, it'll probably try and destroy me. Now, if you last chamber through here, that nearly killed me. Like yes, of course, you never have Leah because you're not a venturer. Now, oh, skeleton. Let's take that there. We see the dead body on here. That there is going to burn. We can get ourselves some lovely. Flawless granites there because they look beautiful. Ow, ow, don't. There we go. Let's take all of this stuff off of you because I always love bows. Hey, who's trying to shoot at me? How do I get across from here? Because it's all blocked off. See, so the chest over there. Take that there from there. Let's have a look over here. We've got a whole lot of stools. This guy's gonna come to life. Let's burn you. Let's open up your body and you got a great sword. Yeah. But I'm probably supposed to use swords in that there. Anyway, let's jump over and try and figure out where I go because I always get so sidetracked with these buildings here, like I always get lost. This here looks pretty good right here. It looks like we're about to get ourselves some more enchantments. And by enchantments I mean absorb some more power or knowledge. For shouts, there we go. You can hear the lovely shouting and aqua sounds. Thank you, let me absorb the power of a word. Thank you, feed become Eternal, eternal, eternal. And I believe there is a chest hidden behind this waterfall. Yes, here we go. And we've got someone who's going to pop out here. Oh, yeah. That was a one hit kill. You were pretty, pretty weak, my friend. Anything in the chest? Shield and stamina. Okay, now let's try and figure out. Like, this is the one where it was get a bit lost. 
as you might be able to already tell, I can't really remember how to get around, how to get out of this place. Did I come down here or? I can't remember. No, I didn't. It goes up to a chamber of light. Let's go around and look over the lovely trees and the lovely night sky above there. And see the lovely glitched outline there. We'll give ourselves some more potion of healing. Amethyst, that there, and let's grab some lock picking. Why not? So, how do I get out of here? Must be back up top again. Map, current location. Okay, I've got to try and get up to there somehow. There's that chest up there which I couldn't see earlier, or I couldn't get to. That there's cracks, so I can't get across there. That was going. There was nothing there. That guy there was there. So. I come down that path. Oh, here we go. I haven't gone across here. And I can see a skeleton who's trying to snipe me over here. Let's go up here. And up and around here. And... Where you going? Burn. Oh, you nearly shot me. Some good animation there showing me destroy him. Let's grab that granite from you as well, because I can sell that there later on. Some gold, some that there, and let's take some stamina as well. Why not? And... I'll remember this one here. First one. Okay, let's have another team. Get out of my way, Lydia. <gasps> oh, perfect. There we go. First try. Oh, you save her. Oh, Bugger's watching Lou get stuck there. Okay, let's pop up here. Okay, Lydia, you got a bad feeling? Let's save this game then. If you've got a bad feeling about this. A bad feeling about this. Ow! That's hot. Ow, it's hot. Oops. Ow! No, I don't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to jump across. Ow! No! Stop! Stop crashing! Stop crashing! Ow! <laughs> I did not mean to run across that. <laughs> That's a bit of a mistake. Oh, here we go. Got a lovely door. Ah, jeez. <laughs> You see that before? Some lovely animations there. Let's run across here, and there's no horn. Instead, it's a mysterious note. Dare! Come on. I failed. Yep, thank you. Me too, if I took the horn. Dragonborn, I need to speak to you urgently. Rent the attic room at the sleeping giant inn in Riverwood, and I'll meet you. A friend. Any pages to turn? Nope. So, how do they get past? They must be Dragonborn as well if they can run through those magic doors and get to here. I suppose let's go see them. In the attic room. At the, dra at the Riverwood Inn. 
Ooh. Empty, empty, empty. Ooh, gold, gold, gold. See, no... Like, surely people run around and collect all this gold when doing this game. That's, that's all I do. I like finding the gold coins. Let's take that there. Exploration cells. I'm not really interested in those there. Let's take all of those there. I know it's, I just like raiding things because you never know what you're going to find. Many potions. Gold is always good. Anything in here? Leap. Yep. Let's take that there. Run up this dirt path. With this little closing in bit here. And let's go through the door which they obviously use to come in. I don't, that's one thing I don't get about Skyrim. Why do they make you go through all these horrible entrance ways and take half an hour to go through everything and then all of a sudden you can use a door which only takes like a minute to get on the outside. I'd rather go through the door and get straight to the item. Okay, so there's a stone slab here. Which I always never know how they work. So is there a way to open and close it from this end of the room? No, there is not. So how would she get in there? That's an empty urn. That's a cracked urn. That there's a fire. Empty. Chest. Hunting bow. Don't want that. Want that there. And on gold, of course. Urn. Gold. As you were about to see, I always search empty urns for some reason. It's just sort of like a habit on clicking on them. Anyway, let's work our way around through here. I'm not sure which way to go out, but let's get these urns first. Urns, urns, urns. Gold, gold, gold is always perfect. Did I get that gold out there? Yes, I did. For some reason, it didn't make a little coin noise. Let's take that there. Let's take that there. And you are now empty. Let's take all of that there. Let's take that there. And let's read that there. Let's take that lovely gold there. And let's take that there. Look the entrance where I was around here somewhere. And it's not really. I don't, get what, I don't know what these things are. Oh, bee husk, poison, salt, no, this is taking me the way out, yes it is taking me the way out, I've already been here haven't I, yeah I've been here now, okay let's get out of this dungeon, manky little area, and go find and sleep at the Riverwood Inn. And see that lovely friend who left that letter. And let's do some lovely fast travel. Whoops. Fast travel. Can I view a bigger map? Let's go back around here. And as soon as I hop into bed at the River Wooden, I'm going to hop off this game and I'll see you guys. In the following week. And. Take care of the flames. Okay, take care of those flames. Because I'm going to go to sleep in real life as well. Hey, MB. Oh, old town drunk. The Sleeping Giant Inn. And it looks like it's got. An, like, walking in here, it's, it's small. We, there's no attic here. Why would there be an attic? Hello. Innkeeper. It's my business to keep track. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room. Of course you don't. You can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. I want this room in here on the right, though. But the bed is owned. Move out of my way, lady. No. Move. Move. I want to get out the door. Okay, I'll come this way here then. Let's go round. Open up this here. So you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. What do you mean? I'm not a dragonborn. You just can't. Thank you. 
follow me. Oh, I want to go to sleep though. Uh, return the horn to Ag Agra, however you say his name. Me wanted sleep. I uh, that there is an actual yawn. Close the door. Oh, fine then. Yep. Now we can talk. Is she okay following me? What's her name? Lilia, is she okay following me? Yep. Come on. Oh, nice little secret room you got down here. Yep. And it's talk. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. Of course they are. You're the one who took the horn? Surprise. I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. What's with the cloak and dagger? You can't be too careful. Thalmor spies are everywhere. What do you want with me? I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. You better start something fast. I don't have time for this. Go on, I'm listening. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be dragonborn. I'm of part course of the I am. That's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, if you really are dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. How do I know I can trust you? Why did you take the horn from Asgard? Why are you looking for a dragonborn? You see the Thalmor after you? I don't need to prove anything I've done here. You see the Thalmor after yes. you? Yes. We're very old enemies. And if my suspicions are correct, they might have something to do with the dragons really? returning. But that isn't important right now. What is important is that you might be dragonborn. Why did you take the horn from Asgard? I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeard sent, and not some Thalmor plant. How do I know I can trust you, though? If you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. I suppose that's true. Why are you looking for a Dragonborn? We remember what most don't, that the Dragonborn is the ultimate Dragon Slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Yes, that's how I learned. I uh, first learned I was dragonborn. Good. And you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. So what's the part you're not telling the me? Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. Okay. Do you know how crazy it sounds? What makes you think dragons can only make to life? I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Okay, so where are we heading? There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. Okay. Let's go kill a dragon. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. Okay. That was very okay. fast. Let's get on the road to Kynesgrove. Okay, let's go. And this is here. This is where we will be ending off today's episode. Following Daphne out of this out of her inn. Let's go. Ognar, I'm traveling. You've got the inn till I get back. Right. Happy trails. Let's go. And when we open up the store, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, in the next episode on this Skyrim episode series. So see you guys next time. And thanks for watching. And let's cue that lovely outro once the store opens. Let's go!